Hey guys, Luke here from BaseGorilla.com and we're going to be checking out this soft synth here called Hatchet, which is made by the guys over at Sonic Faction. It's an awesome synth, soft synth, especially for Ableton Live users. And it is actually made by sampling a lot of the sounds from this vintage hard synth that you can see in front of you here, which is the Arp Axe. It was a very popular vintage synth back in the day. I'll show you the kind of sounds that you can make with this. So I've basically just laid down a very simple beat and we have an arpeggiated melody here in front of us, basically just some chords that I've laid out. And what Hatchet is gonna do is arpeggiate those and we're gonna be able to play with a lot of different parameters as we go through it. So let's check it out. So taking a look at the interface, you can see that we have here a detune function, glide, and what we have here is the oscillator and the filter. So let's talk a little bit about the oscillator for a minute. You can see that basically there are four different oscillators here. One is a noise oscillator. So if I solo this track, We can add in the amount of noise that we want to hear. Uh, there's also a saw. We can control the level like this. Next up is a square or a pulse. And then lastly, we have pulse wave modulation. And what this does is it changes the shape of these pulses, these square or rectangles that you see here. And what you can do is change from very wide rectangles to very narrow skyscraper-like rectangles. And you'll hear how that changes the sound, the, the timber of the sound. So as I increase this, So that's a very nice feature. Mixing in a little bit of the saw wave now. And you can adjust the filter. Again, we can choose between different types of filters. So we have a low pass, you can choose band pass, or a high pass, or a notch. And with this dial here, we can morph between these different filter types. So you can get some really cool results that way. Uh, we have filter types 12 decibels per octave, slope, 24 decibels per octave, and then SVF mode of, as well. And we also have control over the frequency, the resonance, the velocity, and the key. And then we also have this filter envelope here. So you can assign the amount either plus 72 or minus 72, or you could set that to zero just by clicking on it and typing zero if you want. And what this does is it is a filter envelope that is assigned to the filter frequency and it will control the movement of the frequency. So if we put it on a low pass, you'll be able to hear this more easily, I think. As I change the attack. Bring the sustain down. Bring the decay in. We can control the decay slope and the attack slope and the release slope as well. You can actually link this up to the amp as well. So that sounds quite nice and clean there. Moving on to the envelope tab. This is the envelope for the amplitude of the sound. So we can increase the sustain level. And again, you can control the slopes of the attack, the decay and the release. 
We also have a pitch envelope here. So you can set that to zero or plus 48 or minus 48 semitones. And you can control the attack decay, sustain and release of this as well. So you can modulate that. You can modulate the pitch amount for a riser or a build up in energy in your track and get some really interesting results, especially with a, an arpeggiated melody. Moving on next, we have shape. So in the shape tab, we have a shaper, which basically adds distortion to the sound. So this is the hard shaper. We also have soft shaper, sine shaper, and four bit shaper. And then we have frequency modulation. You can have FM or AM here. And you can choose the waveform here. So I'm going to go with a sine wave and increase the FM. You can also change the attack, decay, sustain, and release of the FM and the coarse tuning of it. Okay, we'll move on to the LFO tab, but uh, before we do that, what I want to do is just change the sound a bit. So I'm going to come over to presets and I'm going to select a different sound. We're going to go with something random. I'll try morphology here. And you can see that this preset automatically has some movement built into the morph between the filters. If we look at filter, you can see now it's morphing between low pass, band pass, high pass and notch automatically without me doing anything. Also the arpeggio is not on for this, so we can activate arpeggio. And that sounds pretty nice. So we'll go back to where we were. We looked at the shape tab and we'll go and move on to look at the LFO tab now. So you can assign an LFO to any of these four parameters. You can see that with this preset, the LFO is being applied to the filter and to the pan position. So you can actually hear the sound panning from left to right. And then we have a second LFO that we can use independently. And you can choose the waveform of that. Let's go with a triangle. And it's being applied to the filter morph. And you can see visually how quickly or how slowly that LFO is working. So that's really handy. We'll move on to look at the effects now. So we have saturator, different curves here, soft, medium, hard, s-fold, d-clip, wave. So there's a lot of parameters that right out of the box allow you to get some nice automations into your music. Frequency shift. Again, that's a good effect that you can use for a riser or some kind of building energy in your track. We have a resonator. And we can tune that to the key of our track. So that will help to create more of an ambient feel to it, but also add some more amplitude and energy to it. Redux. That can be soft or hard. Reverb of course, time and dry wet. Auto pan and delay. You 
the arpeggiator window allows us to control a lot of different parameters of the arpeggiator. So we can choose a groove straight, swing 8, swing 16, swing 32. It's more of a bouncy melody. The distance. The rate. and a style so whether you want it to move downwards or up and down or down and up up and down down and up convergence divergence so lots to choose from in there I'm going to keep this on down the amount of steps and the offset. And then with presets, again, you can choose from different presets here. We have arpeggiated melodies, basses, leads, FX, and pads. So beautiful sounding soft synth that you can use in any style of music that you like. Right now we're working on 140 BPM halftime dubstep style tempo track, but uh, just wanna say thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and you can see the potential and the power of this awesome soft synth from Sonic Faction. Check out Hatchet, thank you.